All right, Shalom Israel. This is the brother of War Abai, coming back to you again with another lesson. Before I kick it off, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to you, Akiam, that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity, and to wake up the hopeful elect, and to up, up bring the, uh, the house of David, man. Okay? And uh, also, shalom to you, Akwath, you sincere Akwath that are out there listening that are subscribed to my channel as well. All right. And with today's topic, man, it's just on my spirit to uh, address a few things. And, um, and primarily, it just has to deal with, you know, the Israelite groups that are out there. OK, because, you know, there's a whole slew of them, a whole gang of them outside of just Great Millstone or as the. Uh, the apostles tend to call it the alphabet camps. Okay, you got H O D C, I S U P K, Gray Millstone, or G M S. You know, all, all bunch of them. Okay, but as you can tell throughout different different groups, there's different things that they do, or you know, different methods that they may use. Well, in all in all, in reality, we all have one mission, man. Or well, we should all have one mission. And that should be just to edify and teach the nation of Israel and bring them back to who the world so calls Jesus Christ or to the to the most high and who the world so calls Jesus Christ. OK, and that in the Hebrew and the Lashuan Kadash is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK. Turn back to the real creator man, the true creator. OK, the true living God. All right. That is our message and that is our job while we're here. OK, well, which brings me to my main topic, man. There's a lot of these Israelites or so-called Israelites that get in this and, and get in the knowledge and they get puffed up. OK, and they forget what they're here for and forget what their primary job is. <clears throat> and then they end up turning this this beautiful thing of ours into a, a popularity contest, man. OK. So this truth is not a popularity contest, man. All right. You got certain groups out there or certain Israelites claiming that they're in the know. And primarily what they're doing is going on videos, putting up their videos and seeing that uh, how many other likes that they get versus uh, another brother's videos. Or, oh, oh, man, you know, this LL to be going in. So I'm going to go watch his videos because it's got more likes. You know, and missing out on why that the video was actually put up in the first place. The video was put up to be edifying to on a certain topic, man. You know, and so that right there can cause a lot of confusion to to you know people that are just coming into this thing, or younger brothers that are weak in the faith, or people that are just weak in the faith, or people that are just trying to trying to get some edification, man. You know, so you got you got individuals that are doing things like that. Then you got people that are, are groups that are, you know, emphasizing on on clothing, on how nice their garments look, you know, or if you're within a camp, man, you got you got brothers that or so-called brothers that may be in good with another brother or in good with a higher up. And, and you know, they think that or they gain or favoritism of some sort you know and this is not directed at anybody or any camp but it's some it's some things that happens you know it's things that happen and so my lesson here what it's going to go into is again not making this about yourself and making this a damn popularity contest man making the work the work of the lord the doings of the lord about about you OK, so let's get some scriptures on this. Let's go to work. All right. First one I got is going to be uh, going to the New Testament, going to the book of Romans. Um, and I'm going to start at the 12th chapter. I'm going to start with the third verse. And it says, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according 
as the Most High has dealt to every man the measure of faith. That's right, man. You can't get into this thing and think you own you own one, man. Or think that you're better than somebody else. Okay? Because you may know more precepts or know more breakdowns. You know, or you may have bigger faith or you may be more brotherly or you may be able to provide more things financially or whatever the case may be, man. Don't get yourself up on a high horse thinking you you are you're 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 you know something that you're not. Because we're all called as, you know, all called to the ministry, which ministry basically means just servants, man, to be a servant. OK, unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. OK, because we're all servants in this thing, man. No, you know, and if you're part of a body, one, the body is a, is a unit. OK, not one part of it is better than the other. All right. And a lot of people get into this thing, man. And then they tend to forget what they're here for and the purpose of that, man. Okay? What their different strengths are. Okay? Or why they're here in the freaking first place, man. And that's just to up, up, uphold and unglorify you. How about Shem Yahweh Shot? All right? I'm going to continue to read. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are... are are one body in Christ, Salakia in Masiach, and every one members of uh, every one members one of another. All right, having then gifts differing according to the grace, Salak, according to the grace that is given to us. Okay, and yeah, some of you Jakes, man, you 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 neglect your own gift, man. You get in this thing, and the Lord will build you up on a level, and you may be you may be good with prophecy. You may be good with Hebrew. You may be good with precepts. You may be good with encouraging, exhortation. You know, you may be good at a lot of different things. Or the Lord may have given you your portion and you'll, you'll, you'll hide your candle, man. You know, you got, if you, if you, if you good with the Hebrew, why you ain't doing lessons? You know, why aren't you trying to edify the nation of Israel with it? Teach our people our true language. OK, or if you're good with history, why aren't you doing lessons on history, man? The, the, the history of our people, the culture of our people, you know, all of this is about teaching and edifying the nation, man, so that we can come into remembrance of who we are so that we can wake up to 144, bring them into this thing so we can get the heck up out of here, man. Instead, you got Jake steady running around thinking that this is a game, man, some type of popularity contest, man. Who got more likes? Whose fringes are longer? You know? Oh, I'm going to get with uh, ISU, IS, or U, IUIC because they, they garments are flashy. You know? Stupid stuff like that, man. And that's the problem with a lot of you so-called Israelite groups, man. Or Israelites that just claim that you're in the know. Okay? I'm going to keep reading. This is verse, uh, verse 6 again. Having them... Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry. Let us wait on each other or wait on ministering or he that teacheth on teaching. You know, the, the scriptures go clearly into this, man, on the different gifts that that Jake be having and Jake be just, you know, casting them to the side, you know, not really not really strengthening their craft, man. OK, and that's just a freaking shame. If you think about it all together, it's just a waste. And the most high be the most high. So cold, man, he'll kill you, man. He'll root you out and replace you with somebody else. If you're not doing the will of him or you're doing his will. All right. It's a terrible thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. And a lot of you guys don't know that, but you're going to find that out very soon, man. OK. Or he that has ex ex exhorteth or on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence. Okay, you got you got brothers out there that's good leaders. You know what I'm saying in this thing? Good camp heads. All right. He that showeth mercy with cheerness, cheerfulness, let love be without dissimil dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil, cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectionate, 
affection to one another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. That's right, man. And you can't do that if you're all about yourself, man. Okay, if you all about if you all about, you know, you being the man or are you trying to be the popular one out of a camp, man? You know, or are you trying to gain more likes or more favor for you? That's that's utterly against the will of the most high man, the most high and his son. OK, that's the wrong message. All right, because you're going to end up getting yourself in a situation to where you feel like you, you, you're the man and you basking in your own glory. And the Lord can end up making an example out of you, man. Just like he did Herod in Acts, man. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get the account. This is Acts, the 12th chapter, 19th verse. Okay. And it says, when Herod had sought for him, or actually I'm going to start up at 18. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers. What was become of Peter? And when Herod had sought for him and found him not, he examined the keepers. Uh, he examined the keepers and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea and there abode. OK. And Herod was highly displeased with them of Tyre, of Tyre and Sidon. But they came with with one accord to him and having made Blastus, the king, chamber, the king's chamberlain, their friend desired peace because their country was nourished by the king's country. OK. And upon a set day, here's the point right here, pretty much. Upon a set day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel. Yeah, that's right. So he went in and put on all his flashiest garments. Okay. He was flossed out. He was swagged up. All right. Sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. All right. So let's go into the, uh, the blue letter and look up that word oration in the Greek. Okay. Strong's G, 1215. Deme Gareo. Deme Gareo. Which is to address a public assembly, to make a speech to the people. All right. So he went out there flexing. Okay. All right. And so this is verse 22. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. Okay, so he was basically just trying to trying to put himself up on on the statute of being a being a God, man. You know, trying to sit next to the power seat, trying to compare himself to to the most high. You know, and you got a lot of guys that's out there that, that do that to this day, that, that try to put themselves up on a level with the elders or the apostles, man. You know, for for, for popularity, for shine. Right. And look what happened. Verse 23, and immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory and was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. That's right, man. The Lord killed that dude, man. Sent him straight to the spirit world. OK. So pride, when it when the scriptures talk about that, man, and prior is pride would go up before a fall. Man, that stuff's real, man. This is not a game. It's not a game to the heavenly father to play with his word, man, or to play with his work. Or to play with his men or his teachings. OK, so if you find yourself in a situation of thinking this way. Or or, or behaving or, or even doing these acts, you might want to check yourself, man. Before you end up like Herod. All right. And I'm not going to make this too long. I just wanted to address a few things. OK, and as far as you groups that are out there, man, you Israelites that got to have the flashiest garments, everything like that. You know what I'm saying? That's going off, man. You're doing the most. All right. And this is Sirach 11, verse four. Boast not of thy clothing and raiment and exalt not thyself in the day of honor. For the works of the Lord are wonderful and his works among men are hidden. Many kings have sat down upon the ground and one that was never thought of have worn the crown. That's right, man. Many kings, many kings, people of noble of noble blood and that actually are worthy to boast themselves about have sat on the ground, man, and never wore crowns. OK, many Israelite kings was like that. All right. Shoot, Yahweh, King of Kings. 
Come on, man. Be realistic, man. Be this. Pff. I'm gonna keep going. Verse six: Many mighty men have been greatly disgraced, and the honorable delivered into other men's hands, man. Yeah, so don't go around thinking that you the man, man. Trying to be popular, man. Glorify your how by shimmy how shy. Do the work so we can get out of here and edify the elect and edify the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel and just be done with it. That's it. That's all. And with that being said, that concludes my my message and my lesson. I hope it's been edifying to you and to all that has listened. And before I get out of here, I'm going to give double honors. Actually, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone again, who rule well. Peace and salutations to you, Akiyam, that are out there doing this work in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the planet. To you, Shalom. And to all you, Akiyam, and uh, sincere Akwat that are out there listening. Until next time, I am the brother of Warba. Shalom. <laughs>